Good morning, YouTube. Let's go. It's Black Tiger Miner back for a Tuesday update. Today we're talking about when Casper will be listed on Binance. So I ran across a video that I'm going to play. And I just wanted to show you that Casper Steel isn't listed. And the video mentioned it might be a year or so before since Binance has to do so much vetting before it can list. And let's look at the numbers real quick and then we'll get to the video. So for today, Caspa's down negative 4%. Last hour, it's down 0.6%. Uh, month, it's up 202%. And the week, it's up 66.8%. So let's see here. So as we mentioned, it's down six point or five point nine percent for the day. Uh, Bitcoin's also down six point seven six percent, and Ethereum is down ten percent. So if we look at today, it's still in the red, down to three point six, and for the week. It's kind of steady still. It's not as low as it was uh, last week or last seven days, but it is kind of up and down, but it's still kind of stable. So I'm just going to go to the video real quick. And uh, CoinGecko has it down 5.1%. So it's not doing incredibly bad. But it is still uh, kind of on a decent upswing. So let's go to the video. This video is Crypto Galaxy, which is one of the uh, main people we're following because he has a lot of good information. So if you get a chance, check him out. And I'll put the link to the video in the description of the video. So let's kick to it. Caspa is a long-term hold, at least two years. And so in time, the new exchange listings are going to come. Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, Crypto.com, KuCoin. It's going to get listed on all the exchanges, in my opinion. Because why? Bitcoin got listed on every exchange. Ethereum got listed on every exchange. Dogecoin is on every exchange. All of the major cryptos got listed on all of the exchanges. And so... What Casper is doing right now that is a good, strong sign is that it started from the bottom as a fair launched proof of work coin. It started on TXBit, you know, a small exchange, Trade Ogre, some small exchanges like XT, Hopit, and now we got on Mexi, and then we got recently on Gate.io. So all the recent pumps now is because of the Gate.io listing. It's because of Mexi. Like most of the volume is Mexi, but Gate.io is pushing it forward. Like it's a strong sign. Now, I understand Gate.io will list everything. It's a pay to list platform. We raised $100,000 to list Caspa on the platform. They have a ton of coins, but it's still more access to everybody, right? So everyone is getting more interested in Caspa, more people are getting into Caspa. Also, XD and Hopit are helping. So the ultimate question is what is the next exchange and when? In my opinion, it's going to be KuCoin, right? It's going to be KuCoin. Now, obviously, there's going to be other smaller exchanges coming here and there, but no one really cares. I think it's KuCoin or Bybit. It's going to be one of those two, KuCoin or Bybit, two really big exchanges. I think Bybit is a very realistic possibility because Bybit is a really like a more of a futures uh, trading type of platform. And they, they reap benefits off of trading fees, futures trading fees and cryptos that have a lot of volume. So Caspa, you know, has a lot of volume. It's really popular right now. It's pumping a lot. Bybit is going to take an interest in this one, in my opinion, and KuCoin also. Now, are they coming now? Is Bybit and KuCoin happening now? Uh, uh It's not happening now. It's going to take time, right? Like these exchanges that are getting ready to list, to, ready to list Caspa, they're not going to want to list it ASAP because exchanges are not dumb. They're not going to buy the pumps. They're not going to buy the tops. They're not going to buy the all-time high. Exchanges have a mind. Like they they have some self-control when it comes to FOMO. I understand you and I, maybe we feel the FOMO here and there and we just want to like just buy, 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 but exchanges are being really careful okay so here's what i think you know i i see caspa cooling down in the near term 
Sure, cash cash buck could pump up to five, six, seven cents, but inevitably it has to have a cool up, has to have a correction. I have to be realistic. And that's cool, right? It's good for the growth of the project. Let the big whales dump and sell. Those people are selling for the Lambos now. They're selling to pay their mortgages now. They're selling for $100,000. So be it. They're not going to make the profits in two years. So I think as the price for cash flow cools off to two cents, one and a half cents, whatever the new floor is, then I think exchanges like Bybit and KuCoin are going to start accumulating uh, maybe even OKEx, maybe Crypto.com, maybe some other small exchanges. And then we'll start raising more funds, right, for Casper to get listed on these bigger exchanges. And Casper will naturally start to expand and pump again on the new exchange listing. So, for example, if Casper has a cool off in the next two to three months down to two cents, we're going to start getting all the funds together. Exchanges are going to accumulate. The mid-sized exchanges, you know, Bybit, KuCoin, um, the other middle-sized ones, going to accumulate and get ready. And I think by the end of this year, by the end of 2023, we're going to see Casper listed on at least one more big size, big exchange. You know what I'm saying? Not Ku, Ku, uh, not Coinbase or Binance yet, but more like KuCoin, Bybit, um, maybe Crypt.com, maybe OKEx. Coinbase and Binance, they're going to come in the next bull run. Those are going to be the ones to push this to a dollar. I think those are going to push this to a dollar in a year from today. Because the thing about Binance is that they have a long, serious vetting process. And then Coinbase has to follow very strict regulations from the SEC. They can't just go all willy-nilly, ooh, we're going to list, you know, Caspar right now, because I know everyone asks, when Binance? It's not coming ASAP. It's going to take a year for Binance to vet it. And also, Binance is going to require that we raise $600,000 to get Caspar listed. So it's going to take time for Binance and Coinbase. I see Binance coming in about 9 to 15 months from today. And then I see Coinbase coming three to six months after that. So I'm saying Q2, Q3, 2024, Binance could list it. Q4, 2024, or Q1, 2025, Coinbase could list it. And it's going to be perfect. It's going to be just in time for the top of the next bull run. Because I believe the bull run is starting really soon. We're already in a bull run for Caspa. Some of the other coins are lagging behind. They're not in the bull runs yet. But Caspa is in a bull run. So Caspa is going to be in a major mega bull run next year, 2024. I think Casper could hit a dollar next year after the Binance listing and then in 2025 after the Coinbase listing and after every centralized exchange listing in 2025, Casper probably going to hit $5, $10, or even $20. Let me know what you think about Casper. Drop a comment below. Smash the like button, support the channel, support the Galaxy, and also... Okay, guys, that was the video. So what do you think? Do you think Casper will reach... Five, ten, twenty dollars in a couple of years. So that's one of the questions. The next question is which exchange do you think which major exchange do you think will list Caspa uh, at the end of the year or early next year? And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also double check if you subscribe previously, if you're still subscribed. The numbers are going kind of up and down. So I'm just making sure we're not losing people. Or if the YouTube is unsubscribing people or there's something weird going on with the algorithm. But this is the Casper. When will it get listed on Binance video? So we're just trying to see, uh, trying to track to see when it'll be listed and what do you think the price predictions will be? And also, I'm going to do a, another price prediction video shortly. So I'll get that up as well. But let me know what you think in the comments. This is Black Tiger Miner signing out. Happy Tuesday. And let's get back to the money.